Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm here with a quick video. I got two verses that I'm going to bring out. As you see on the screen, Daniel uh, 7, 13 and Daniel 7, 14. And Lord willing, you know, this lesson is uh, edifying and exhorting onto our spirit or spirits. Okay, now uh, the breakdown for Daniel, the seventh chapter, um, you can go on the YouTube and type in GMS um, Daniel chapter seven breakdown. And there's... Um, different videos you can watch you know from from the apostle uh to hard to um other other brothers you know elders and other brothers that have um did lessons breaking down daniel the seventh chapter so i'm not gonna go into the whole chapter i just want to key in on these two verses now here i'm on the uh, blue letter and right here it says the son of man presented and we know the son of man is talking about um yahweh shai as you will yeah let me leave that alone i was gonna highlight it but that's okay the son of man presented and presented to who presented to the most high as as we are uh, gonna find out when we read this this verse so let's read it this is daniel chapter 7 verse 13 it says i saw in the night vision who saw this was daniel and then the prophet daniel was being shown uh visions right and ultimately what he was with uh daniel in the seventh chapter what he was being shown was the kingdom that was currently in power being taken down and the rest of the kingdom that was going to come into power uh after Okay, ex expressed in the form of a uh, beast, four beasts. And uh, America is a part of that fourth beast. It's the last leg of the fourth beast, which is the uh, which was the Roman Empire. Okay. And all of the, those empires being destroyed. Okay. And our Lord, who the world ignorantly know as Jesus, which his true name is Yahawashai coming to uh rule this planet earth forever along with his people the israelites okay so let's go back to daniel 7 and 13 it says and i saw in a night in the night visions and behold one like the son of man who is yahweh shai came with the clouds of heaven the clouds of heaven is talking about what people on this planet believed to be ufos but according to the scriptures they're the chariots uh, of israel okay give me a quick second i want to find a precept since i said that okay i was trying to find uh i believe another scripture but this scripture is good i'll i'll bring it out this is second kings chapter 6 verse 17 it says, and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, Yahweh, okay, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the, Lord, and the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountains was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Okay, now these chariots right here say chariots of fire. These are taught, these are another um, expression of what the uh, or this is a, yeah this is what the the uh, the so-called UFOs I'm sorry are called okay the chariots chariots of uh fire okay I said chariots of Israel and I was looking for a particular scripture it can't it's not coming to mind uh so Salakia but this scripture do so these was chariots that he uh licious uh seen and he looked up in the mountains and that's what he seen in the um uh, in the sky chariots of uh fire okay which are the ufos 
of the Most High. I mean, sorry, the so-called, what people know as the so-called UFOs, okay? Of the Most High and of Israel. All right, now let's go back to Daniel. All right, read it, read it from the top. Daniel 7 and 13, it says, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like unto the Son of Man came with clouds of heaven. Yeah, this is Yahweh Shai in the, in, on, on the chariot, on the, uh, with a company of uh, chariots, and the angels being in those uh, chariots. It says, and came to the Ancient of Days. Who is the Ancient of Days? The Most High, Yahweh. Okay, we go up here to... Daniel uh, 7 and 9. I'm going to read it. It says, And I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hairs of his head were, I'm sorry, the hairs, the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. That's the chariot, see? That same um chair the fire that uh the prophet Elisha uh showed to the young man that was with him. Okay. And this is the most high. And we know it's not Yahweh Shai, so who is this talking about? The ancient of days, meaning the most high doesn't have a beginning or end. He's 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 always existed. Okay? And Yahweh Shai had a beginning and an end an end. Yahweh Shai actually started uh, time. And time is what? Based off of Yahweh Shai himself. So let's go back to the scripture. And it says, And they, meaning the chariots, with the with the angels in them, uh, brought him, him being Yahweh Shai, before him, meaning Yahweh Shai was brought before um, Yahweh. So this is a coming together, you know, one, uh, the coming together, of the Most High and and His Son, okay, or a union, and Yahweh Shai is being brought before the Most High uh, as a uh, expression of showing respect to the Most High, okay. All kingdoms are cast down. It's really a, uh, in a sense, like a ceremony, if you will, because Yahweh Shai is now. Uh, well, let's read it. Salakia, <laughs> Daniel 7 and 14, and there was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all, yeah, kingdom to who? Yahweh Shai. And there was given him, I'm sorry, I, may, I, I misread it, and there was given him, meaning Yahweh Shai, from the Most High, dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people's nations language should serve him what's that slavery it's a, a, a different way of saying to serve somebody is a different way of saying you're a, a slave to somebody okay it says his dominion is everlasting and you know what this shows that the most high and yahweh shai are two different or yeah the heavenly father and the Son of the Heavenly Father are two different entities, okay? Who the world ignorantly know as Jesus and ignorantly, uh, they ignorantly know as God are not the same. They're the same as far as being on the same page. They're one in spirit, but they're different, two separate entities, okay? And this is the time that we're approaching where Yahweh Shai accompanied with the Israelites because it tells us in, uh, what is that, Romans 8, I believe, Romans 8th chapter, that we know the Israelites, starting with the elect, are joint heirs with our Lord Yahweh Shai to rule this planet. And that's the time that is approaching, you know, to where Yahweh Shai and the Israelites are going to get glory, glorified on this planet Earth. Because if Yahweh Shai was here right now, he you know uh, um, he'll be looked at just like the rest of us. Just what does the scripture say when he come in Isaiah forty seven? 
he will not meet thee as a man. So Yahweh Shai is not coming as a regular man. He's coming as an extraterrestrial slash celestial uh, um, supreme power under the Most High. Uh, immortal. Full of immortality. Okay? And that will be given on to the elect also. It says his dominion is everlasting. I'm sorry, his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. His kingdom and his kingdom that which shall be. I'm sorry, let me read that again. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So this is the everlasting kingdom. Okay, that will always be here ruling on the planet. Meaning, Yahweh Shai and his people, the Israelites, are going to rule forever. Okay? And it's going to be a beautiful thing. Lord willing, we get to witness, you know, Yahweh Shai going before the Most High, you know, um, and the Most High giving him, uh, in a, giving him the dominion over this planet. So with that, I'm going to close out. You know, Lord willing, this video was once again edifying and exhorting unto our spirits. You know, um, once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. And double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.